Hey everyone, this time on Tim Talks Audio, we're talking about bus automation. So I've actually seen this pop up in a couple of different places, whether it's in comments in some of my videos or other Studio One videos in the Facebook groups and even on like the subreddit and other social media platforms. A lot of people have been asking about how to view automation lanes inside the arranger part or the main window of Studio One. And how sometimes buses by default won't automatically show these automation lanes. It's actually really easy to see these things by default. You just have to click on a couple of settings. So let's dive into the DAW and I'll show you how to do it. Doesn't matter where you are as long as you're in a session and you probably can do this in the start menu as well. But whenever you're in a session and you wanna be able to see your bus automation, like I have going on right here, this is just a bus I made, there's nothing going to it. But Studio One with my settings by default created a channel or a track header on the main window. If I get the mixer out of here, this is what everybody's been asking for is how to view these automation lanes for buses on the main window like this. Because let's pull open our mixer again by hitting F3. With the default settings, if I was just gonna add in a bus, it did exactly that. It created a bus channel, but it did not create automation lanes for this bus channel. And that's the setting that we need to engage and make sure that we have on. And I'm gonna show you some other settings that I have on when I'm working with buses and automating those. So first thing, let's use our keyboard shortcuts and open up our preferences. This this is either command and comma if you're on a Mac or control and comma if you're on PC. And it's gonna bring you right into maybe your keyboard shortcuts or wherever you were in your preferences last. As you can see, I was in my keyboard shortcuts. I was looking for something. Now what we wanna do is be able to see our automation channels in the main arranger window. And where you wanna go is you wanna go up here to advanced and when you're in the advanced menu, you now wanna go over to automation. And you want this guy, automatically create automation tracks for channels. And what that's doing is exactly like you're saying, it's going to make the track, which is what you would see in this area, these are the tracks, and if we get the mixer out of here, these are the tracks, they're the containers of your audio information or your MIDI information, or it's now a visual representation of your automation for your channels. It's a track, it's just a section here. When we bring our mixer back up, this bus, this, the one we created earlier, doesn't have a track to show us our different automation. So with that off, if we were over here, and let's just make a new bus, I did that by right clicking and adding in a new bus. Bus three also doesn't have a track. Keyboard shortcut, control comma or command comma. Right back into our options or our preferences. And now we're going to engage automatically create automation tracks for channels. Before you close this, the default envelopes for new audio tracks. These are different automation lanes or automation lines points, whatever reference word you want to use for the line that represents different things you can automate by default. Mute is usually not one of them, but I like having this on because maybe there are sections where I want to mute this. And instead of going through everything and, well, I want to right click on here, edit mute automation and add this in, which it will now create the automation track. This is how you would do it if you didn't have the preference on. See, now we have our mute lane on bus three. It created the track so we can visually see it. So now that we've engaged the option, if we create a new bus, bus four, bingo, here we go. We automatically have our volume automation lane and track created for us. Here's bus four. And you can see as I move the fader, yes, this line will move and you know, be associated with wherever the fader is, but it's also where I can go in and start adding in points. And this is just volume automation right now and manipulating these points and changing things around. And maybe you wanna change the way that that one goes. I wanna ease into it. Now it's going to follow this automation through the bus. We're now automating our bus. If you had plugins on this bus and you wanted to automate things in there, you could add those into these lanes either by going into the plugin itself. And I'm just gonna throw in anything right here. We'll just throw a compressor on. If I wanted to automate the attack, we'll say, you can still do it the old fashioned way of right clicking on whatever parameter you wanna automate and hitting 
edit automation. This is now going to attack. It is going to add it in, and you can do your automation that way. Another way to add it in is with this drop down menu, go to add remove, and then just find whatever you need and add that into the automation lane. But being able to have these visually available that fast is one less step you have to do, saving you a little bit of time. And it may not seem like much now, but a little bit of time added up over a long amount of time is a good chunk that you can be saving just by these little workflow improvements and alterations. These little things will all add up in the big picture. So there you go. That's how you add in tracks for your bus automation. That's all for now. If you found anything informative, please like and share the video. If you want more Studio One tips or just a talk shop, jump in the Discord. There's a link down below. You want to work with me on your next project? Great. Let's get that started over at timplansbaum.com. And if you have a question, ask it in the comments and I'll answer it in a future video. Thanks for watching.